we move on now to mathematics. And this year's winner, in the words of Alan Turing, brings intuition and ingenuity in modeling our world through mathematics. His work is being applied in varying fields, such as fluid mechanics, image processing, and astrophysics. He received an honors degree in mathematics and physics from Utkal University in Bhubaneswar, and then earned his PhD from IISC and TIR, TIFR in Bangalore. To tell you about his work, let me introduce you to Professor Srinivasavardhan, Jury Chair for Mathematical Sciences. He's Professor of Mathematics and the Frank J. Gould Professor of Science at the Kuron Institute of Mathematical Sciences, New York University. In 2011, he was awarded the highest honor bestowed by the United States government on scientists, engineers, and inventors, the National Medal of Science, for his work in probability theory. He's a winner of the Abel Prize in 2007. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, the very distinguished Professor Srinivasa Varadhan. Let me begin by reading the citation. The Infosys Prize 2019 for Mathematical Sciences is awarded to Siddharth Mishra, Professor, Department of Mathematics <laughs> at ETH Zurich for his outstanding contributions to applied mathematics, in particular for designing computational methods that solve nonlinear partial differential equations arising in different areas, analyzing their effectiveness, and designing algorithms to implement them. I want to thank my colleagues who were on the jury, Professor Raghunathan from Chennai, Chandrasekhar Kare from UCLA, Claire Wazen from France, Sanjeev Arora from Princeton, and Parimila Raman from Vancouver. I believe it was John Tukey who, when asked to explain the difference between pure and applied mathematics, made the following response. A pure mathematician finds exact solutions to approximate problems, while the applied mathematician finds approximate solutions to exact problems. Many of the natural phenomena that evolve over time are modeled by mathematical equations. This requires an understanding of the science behind the phenomena. The equations themselves can sometimes be relatively simple for which an exact solution can be found. An example of this is the motion of a pendulum that keeps time accurately. More often, like predicting the course of a hurricane, the model is complicated, impossible to solve exactly, and very hard even to find approximate solutions. The role of an applied mathematician starts, if necessary, with modeling, and then to devising methods for finding solutions. An exact solution is often impossible to find, and approximations have to be made. This involves discretizing the problem in some manner, and developing a scheme to solve the problem. One has to devise computational steps or algorithms to implement the scheme. One then has to worry about how good the approximations are. This is made difficult because the solutions often have discontinuities or shocks and one needs to determine their exact location and size. The final answer then are numbers that are needed by and provided to the end user, which can be an industry or general public. 
Professor Mishra has made outstanding contributions to all of these aspects of applied mathematics. He has a series of first-rate results on the design and analysis and implementation of modern numerical methods, been used for solving compressible and incompressible Euler equations with applications to aerodynamics, for shallow water equations that has applications to oceanography, for MHD equations that play a role in solar physics, for Einstein equations in astrophysics, as well as uh, evolution models in biology. Siddharth Mishra is an ingenious designer of excellent numerical methods, mainly for systems of hyperbolic conservation and balance laws, and has a deep understanding of their mathematical and physical background. He has produced codes for complicated realistic problems with realistic data, for example, tsunamis generated by rock slides and waves in the solar atmosphere. He uses numerical experiments to get insight into analysis of partial differential equations. Mishra and co-workers have made several important breakthroughs, like constructing stable schemes of arbitrary high order for multidimensional nonlinear system of conservation laws. For the development of the concept of multi-level Monte Carlo methods for uncertainty quantification of nonlinear hyperbolic systems and designing well-balanced schemes for solving Euler equations. Siddhartha Mishra is devoted to combining rigorous mathematics with efficient computations that are based on a deep theoretical knowledge and insight into the real world problems. Congratulations, Professor Mishra. Thank you, Professor Vardhan. And now we have Professor Mishra talking about modeling the world through mathematics in this video. I design algorithms to simulate complex physical and engineering systems on a computer. We implement them in the real world to predict real world phenomena, for instance, in astrophysics, in climate modeling, in geophysics, in engineering. I'm Siddharth Mishra, and I'm an applied and computational mathematician. I derive great satisfaction from being able to understand complex uh, physical phenomena in mathematical terms. When I was a teenager, I was finishing high school, I wanted to be a physicist. After finishing my undergraduate studies, I had a much more attractive scholarship to do mathematics, so I just stuck to that. Even though it was just random, I think it was a very good choice. I'm very passionate about my research, about tackling hard questions, about communicating the excitement of doing science. I'm also passionate about collaborating with physicists, with engineers, with biologists to solve problems which arise in the real world. Please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Siddhartha Mishra. May I request Mr. K. Dinesh and Professor Vardhan to join us for the presentation. And may I request Professor Amartya Sen to present the Infosys Prize in Mathematics to Professor Siddhartha Mishra. Thank you, Professor Sen. Thank you, Professor Vardhan. Thank you, Mr. Dinesh. Professor Mishra, a few words from you, please.
delighted and I'm truly honored to receive this prize. Receiving it from Professor Sen and having Professor Varadhan describe my work feels really surreal, given the number of times I have read the argumentative Indian and the number of times I've tried to use large deviations in my recent work really feels uh, surreal. There are a lot of people I would like to thank uh, who have helped me throughout my career, starting from my mother, who is in the audience, uh, my father, who is no longer with us, my brother, who is also in the audience for, for their support, my wife and my children uh, for their love and their support. And I owe a huge gratitude to my teachers, especially to my teachers here in Bangalore at the TIFR and IISC. I think some of them are in the audience who have taught me to my supervisor, Professor Adi Murthy, to my mentors, especially Professor Ethan Tadmore, and to my numerous collaborators, particularly the interdisciplinary collaborators, uh, from physicists, engineers, biologists, climate scientists, with whom I have worked, and to my students, uh, both current and former, my postdocs. What I do is really group work, and this award is a recognition for their work. It's also a recognition for my field of applied and computational mathematics, which unfortunately is not so well represented in India and among Indians worldwide. Uh, finally, I would like to thank the jury for selecting me and to the Infosys Science Foundation and its trustees for instituting this award. I am truly honored. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Mishra. Nonlinear partial differential equations, I'm sure you remember that from your 10th standard textbooks. You know, for me, mathematics became a tad more difficult when the alphabet decided to get involved. 